Last time we met, you started working with the pen tool to create straight paths. Today, you're going to learn how to use the pen tool to create straight paths, but then convert anchor points from straight paths to curved paths. So to do that, we're going to need two tools. The first tool we're going to be using is obviously the pen tool, right, to draw things. But the second tool we're going to use a lot with the pen tool is the direct selection tool. These two tools work really well together because remember, the direct selection tool allows you to manipulate part of an image. So in this case, we can move specific anchor points. To practice the skill, we're going to activate our direct selection tool for the first part. And we're just going to click on anchor points and move them so that this image on the right matches the image on the left, which means you should be clicking and dragging specific anchor points. I tried to show you where they're located here just to help you out. If it makes it easier, you can kind of bring this here, take the fill out and really see that your paths are matching up. Okay, you're gonna do that for this shape here, you will put it back to being red, and this blue mountainy shape here to match this over here. The main part of today is this idea of converting anchor points from straight paths to curved paths. There's other ways to do this, but we're going to start today with a very simple technique. We're going to take our pen tool and we're going to do that kind of game you play as a kid in coloring books where you trace by number. So you're going to click and just like yesterday or whenever we met, you're going to create straight paths by clicking on each point until you go all around the entire shape. I sped that part up, but you saw midway through the blue was in the way I couldn't see the numbers. So I took out the fill and then when I was done, I put the fill back. Now we have like a thumbs up sign, but it's a little too jagged. So what I want you to do is take the direct selection tool, select some of the points and convert them. So let's do that together. I'm gonna to take my direct selection tool, the white arrow. I'm gonna select some points. Now I can make a marquee to select multiple points or I can click on one point, hold shift and click on another point. And you see that they're turning red. I'm gonna get a little closer here. All right, some of them are white or some of them are red. The ones that I have selected are now red, like they're filled in. Now your convert anchor point settings are here on the right side of your screen where your properties panels are. There is convert a point to a corner or convert an anchor point to smooth. We want to convert to smooth. So let's click on this button. And it's a very subtle thing, but it takes it from being pointy, I'm going to undo so you can see, to being rounded, a little bit more natural like a finger would be. I'm not going to select every point because if every point's rounded, it looks a little too cartoony, but I'm going to go around and pick the points that I think make sense being rounded. So probably around the knuckles, and I'm just going to keep clicking that button um, and just until I have a really like soft looking hand. Now you're going to see that when you curve or you convert something to a smooth point, you get these little handles. These are called Bezier curves, and we'll get further into them when we learn a little bit more about the pen tool. You can move the handles little by little. Just be careful because they're very sensitive. So if I do something like this, I'll end up with a really funky shape. Okay? Now once you're done curving all your components that make the hand look a little more natural, you're done. Right? It looks much more curved and like a natural hand. You're going to repeat this technique with the little light bulb here on the bottom part. Right, you're going to trace the numbers. These have two separate shapes. So you're going to go 1 through 13, and then you're going to start again in this little gray section on the bottom. And then curve the light bulb so it makes more sense. The most challenging one is this part here because I didn't give you numbers. I just gave you dots. But if you follow the dots, you're going to create this cute little doggy. Right, each one of these sections, you can kind of see it here, makes a different shape. After I kind of traced it out, I did curve the path so that it looked a little more natural. If you happen to finish early, there is a built-in extension that challenges you with a lot of different components that have straight lines. Make sure you're using your convert anchor point settings on the right and being patient. Good luck.